Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make these really fun, interactive, triple wiper cards. And you basically just pull the little pulley here and they will flip over. And it's really fun to do. It's very easy. You don't need any dies. A lady called Pat, she messaged me about probably two months ago now and asked if I could do one of these cards. And this is what I've come up with. And here's the cat one. Ho, ho, ho. It's so much fun. I really have enjoyed these. It's, you know, I've got the element of colouring, which I really enjoy, and then that interactive card, which I love to do. These are both on five by seven cards, so they're top folding, so they stand like this. And you'll notice that I've done, this one is more towards the top, with the sentiment underneath, and then this one is just through the centre with the sentiment in the middle. And that's the one I'm going to show you today, so I think this is going to be the more popular one. And then you've still got room here to put a thin sentiment, you can add some more, you know, decoration, it's entirely up to you. So let me show you how to make these really fun cards. Okay, so for the cats it was using, this would have been the November issue of Making Cards and Papercraft magazine. And these are just called the Christmas Cat. I'll link everything below and then the Pablo the Penguin as he's known is again from the current issue of well by the time this goes out yeah it'd be the the current issue of Making Cards magazine and then the one that I've used today is using this older one and this is from the Creative Stamping magazine issue 75 which is maybe two issues old now two or three issues old again you should still be able to get this one and again, it'd be linked below, but it had um, clearly besotted, had some of their stamps. So I think all of that there was the clearly besotted. And then these were just, you know, part of the normal kind of um, creative stamping ones. So I've gone ahead and already colored all of these in. Now, what I will link in is a quick high speed video of me coloring the two that I've just showed you there, the penguin and the cats. Because I know lots of you do like it. I made these on another day, so I actually forgot to film myself with these. I was just sat down just watching some TV. But I'll add that in now. Okay, so at least then it gives you a little bit of inspiration on what I've done. All of them have been using my coloured pencils. Okay, so you want a 5x7 card base. So I've got a white one here, which I had pre-made. If you don't have a pre-made one, you want a piece of 10x7. And along the 10-inch side, you just want to score at 5 and fold and burnish. Okay. Then you want a piece of cardstock that is 4 and 7 eighths of an inch by 6 and 7 eighths of an inch. I guess that piece is optional. I wanted for this one, you'll notice I've got two very, you know, that's a small little green mat there. I just think it helps frame this piece on top. And again, on that one, you'll see it's the red one behind. Okay, you can just see it there. So it's entirely up to you. Okay, and then, so that's that piece. And then the main bit that you're going to be working on is this piece here, which is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I'm you're going to cut straight into this piece but first of all you want to make a template so I've already got mine here but I'm going to make another one in the video just so you can see what you've got to do but what I would say is if you're using a pattern paper it might be worthwhile backing it onto a piece of strong cardstock that's my biggest tip with this card is you want a strong cardstock so I'm using 300 GSM white cardstock my little 
pulley here is 300 GSM and there's two of those, I'll give you the measurements in a minute. Even the little tabs, and I'll give you them in a minute, it's all 300 GSM. This does need to be a strong piece, this pulley, you don't want it to, you know, kind of buckle up or anything. It needs to be able to, you know, hold, you know, that pressure when you're pulling it in and out. So, yeah, so look at your pattern paper and cut it the same size as the white piece and stick them together. So I've already done that and I've used my cloud glue, so this is a nice strong piece. So that's that, and then I've got the same just to do the template, okay? So you do want to do, I, I do advise that you do the template because then, as I always say on your templates, just write what it's for, pop it in a little folder and you've got it there. So next time you go to make this card, it's going to be really quick because all we'll do now is we will sit that over the top and just draw in these lines and that's where you want to cut. Then for the pulley, so this is one by seven and a quarter because I remember doing that measurement. And like I said, there's two pieces stuck together there. So it's quite thick two lots of 300 GSM, but again, I've used my Kalau and it's now a nice strong piece. It's not gonna, you know, kind of bend. And then these here, you want three pieces that are one by one, and along one of the sides, you just wanna score it a quarter of an inch on all three pieces, and then just fold in half. And there are little tabs that we're gonna attach everything to. And then these bits here, you want six pieces that are two by two and a half, and then the pattern mats on top are one and three quarters, by two and a quarter. Again, those are optional, but I have gone ahead and stuck all of these down. On the front, I'm gonna have my sentiment, Father Christmas and the snowman. And on the inside, I will have those like that. So that will be behind that one and those will be behind those. I think they're really cute. All the papers I've used are from the Magical Stories 12 by 12 paper pad. This is the Paper Addicts and it's lovely. I got another one of these at the Creative Craft Show, which I shared a while back. Okay, so you don't need any of that, so we just want to now prep our template. So this is that piece of four and three quarters by six and three quarters. So you want a pencil, metal ruler, and I think that's it. So what you want to do is line your ruler up along the top, okay, so along that six and three quarters of an inch side. This photo of this template will also be on my blog, okay? And along the top here, you want to put a pencil mark at a quarter of an inch, two and three eighths of an inch and four and a half okay repeat that again along the bottom so again the same measurement so a quarter of an inch two and three eighths and four and a half and then you want to join those lines up okay then pop it on the short side and along here Again, pop your ruler along there. So this is four and three quarters. You want to mark at one and seven eighths of an inch and two and seven eighths of an inch. And again, along the bottom, one and seven eighths and two and seven eighths. And again, join those lines up. Okay, so that is now what you should have. All right, so that's your quarter of an inch, your two and three eighths of an inch, your four and a half. And then here is your one and seven eighths and your two and seven eighths. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to cut. So I'm just going to go a bit darker with my line, just so you know. You're just going to cut between these two lines here. Okay, now you want to keep this really straight, and I've made it a bit thicker because you actually do want there to be, if I bring this up here, you know, a nice gap. So what I've done is I initially cut right on the line. Okay, this line here, but then I cut about, you know, that tiny little, like a couple of millimetre just away from it and then just cut it out and again there. So there is an, a proper nice little slot there for your tabs. I'm putting it against this blue so you can see, but the tabs will sit in there really nicely and move from side to side. Okay, so you don't want these to be tight, you don't want them to be huge, but you don't want them to be tight. So, you know, I'm going to use millimetres for this, but they are... It's just over a millimetre wide, okay? So the easiest way to do that, so I'm just gonna grab my cutting knife, is do the first cut along the whole line there, you know, follow that line, but just do it between these two, but just follow that line, like so. Okay, so I've done my first cut just in there and it lines up with this line. Then if I just flip it and put the ruler the other side of like the pencil mark, because that is about one mil, wide my pencil mark and then again just cut okay and then what you need to do with your knife is just push it a little bit at the top and the bottom and again if I bring this up it should now 
you see that little slither that I've taken out and it will give you that perfect size that you're looking for. So do your first cut completely in line with the pencil and then just come away a little bit, like I said, just the other side of that pencil line. So I'm gonna quickly just finish this one off because then I've got two templates, which is always handy. Okay, and that's the last piece out of there. So if I just line it up with that one, you'll now see I've got those three nice little slots ready for the tabs. And that's all you need to do. That's the most difficult part of making this card is getting that template ready. Like I said, I will I'll put those lines in black and then I'll take a photo and I'll put that on my blog so you can always print that off so you've got it as well for reference. Okay, I almost, well I did, I cut through this piece as well but fortunately it's only a matte layer so you're not going to see that. So with your template, so I'm going to bring in this one that I've got my measurements on just so you can see it a bit clearer. You want to put it on top of your pattern paper, okay, so that's my thick piece here which is the, you know, the front of the card. This one is actually, that one I ended up, it was a tiny bit smaller so I will bring this one in because it's the exact size, there we go. And then all you're going to do is I would probably get a sharper pencil, there we go, just sharpen that. What you want to then do is just draw inside this. Now you can go straight on to, and, and colour it in, you know, draw in that little kind of one mil the width of it, draw the whole thing in because um, you're going to cut it out. You know you can go straight on to the card and do it, you don't have to have the template but I do think it's worth doing. And now you can see my three lines and I'm going to cut them exactly the same way. So I'm going to cut to the left hand side of the cut line and then I'm going to cut to the right hand side. I'm going to do that on all of them. I would say go a little bit bigger, just a smidge, just because again when you draw usually with a pencil, whether it be inside or you trace around something, you tend to make it slightly larger or smaller. So I would just go just a tiny bit above it, just so that you know, you know your tab's going to fit. So I'm just going to do all the left hand side first. Okay, so now I've got that ready, again let me pop it against that dark surface and you can see them. Next you want to get your three tabs, okay, and what you want to do is pop, just make sure you've, you know, burnished them and then folded them over. Pop them in so that you've got the tab, so this is the, you know, the um, that quarter inch score line side here on the left. You want the tab to be pointing to the right so just the way I've put it in there, but it's got to fold over this way, pointing in the right hand direction. So again, pop that one in, and then pop that one in. All right, you want them to be able to move. They should have a little bit of wiggle up and down, which they all do, because I said to go that little bit, you know, and then you want them to all fold that way. You're not sticking these down on here, so just turn it over. Make sure that one's in, that one and that one, okay. And what's going to happen, so I've already stamped pull on the end of this, but we're going to put some glue on the end of all of these and then we're going to stick this so it lines up with this one because this is one inch wide, these are one inch, so you want it to completely cover that and then, you know, you want it to be straight, which it should be if I just use my grid there. Yeah, I can see it's running, you know, well with that line there and stick it down. So I'm going to bring in... Um, I'm going to use my, oh no, I'm going to use my Cosmic Shimmer Glue and um, just put a thin, well enough you obviously want it to stick down, it's got to be strong because this is, you know, the, the main pulley part of the card. So just make sure that all sticks nicely there and then pop that on there and just stick them all down. And flip it over and just make sure that you've got no glue that's oozed over that's going to interfere with it moving because in a minute some of this is going to come through so we need it in fact I would move it a bit now and just kind of push it like that you just want to make sure no glue is going to stick so I can see I've got a bit of glue there this glue doesn't dry tacky in fact it's almost dry already kind of see what I've done, so there's a little bit coming through this side just to make sure that none of your glue sticks because that is now going to move really freely. Because when we stick this down onto the card, there's actually two layers of foam and that allows, you won't really be able to see it, but when I pull that tab 
if you look underneath there, it comes right up. See that's straight? Because it's got that room there, it's able to move within that space. Okay, see there where it moves up and down? And that's what you need to do. You need to create that space underneath. And that's a real important part of this card to work. So, yeah, so just be happy that they're really stuck down well and that none of the glue is interfering with the mechanism. They should both be able to... Oh, it doesn't matter if it comes out, so don't worry, because now they're in place. You can easily just slot them all in and you know everything's lined up. But I'm going to pop them back in there because that's where we want them to be. Okay. Right, what you want to do next is fold it so that, I'm trying to, it's easy to see what I've done, but it's trying to explain that. You want to push it to the left. So you want the tab, this piece here, this long strip, to run parallel with the side of the card. So can you see there, it's running right next to it, and underneath there's a little bit of it overhanging. So basically there should be a quarter of an inch stuck on this, a quarter of an inch now kind of folded to the left there, just underneath. So that when these fold down, there should be half an inch that you can see here now. We just want to add glue to half an inch. So basically there's a quarter of an inch stuck to the back of this, half an inch stuck to the front of the image, but there's that little quarter of an inch just in there that is free from anything. And it's that piece that will allow the card to move left and right. Okay, so hopefully I've broken it all down. Again, let me just kind of hold that up so you can see it like that. Push the whole thing back so the end of this piece, oh, put that back in there, lines up at the end of the card. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And now you want to start sticking down your panels. So how did I say I was going to have that one in the middle and that one there? and they will sit perfectly within that section. Another little tip I would say is whatever the colour of your largest piece, the two by two and a half is, make sure it's the same colour tabs because you will see ever so slightly a little bit of it. For example, here, can you see the green? You can just see it there if I pop that tab back in. There you go, you can just see a little bit of the green, you can see it there and there and on this one here. Oh no, I used white on that one but then the white matches that. So just think about that when you go to put it all together. But that one's going to go there, that's going to go there, and that one is going to go like so. So again, I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on here. Just use my finger to spread it out. And stick that one down. And you want to make sure that it's obviously nice and straight. You've got equal overhang here and here, and that one inch piece kind of stuck in the middle. Like so. And then I'm going to put down another bit of glue there. And just spread that out. And then stick that one down so it's running straight with the one next to it. And then some glue on that one. And stick that one down. And make sure that your gap there is all nice and straight as well. And just lift each one up because once that's stuck now you can kind of pull this back. It won't really work yet until it's in the card, but again, just make sure that you've got no glue visible. Get rid of that bit there. It's my little... Oh no! Oops. See, I'm always telling you, don't move your... Um, remove your glue with the glue thing while the glue's still wet. That's why. So it's lifted a bit of my cardstock, so I'm going to have to now decorate that with something. I might put a little gem there. <laughs> My mum would laugh now because that's what I always say. If there's a little mistake, just put a little gem there. Now fold them all back. At this point it doesn't really matter if it's, you know, this is moved um, a little bit. And then you want to stick these ones on the other side. So I'm going to have those two there and that one like so. So I'm just going to add my glue. I'm going to use Kalau on this. I chop and change because when I want there to be like lots of strength, then I use the Kalau. The uh, Cosmic Shimmer has a very, very quick grab, but then so does this if you use a thin amount. So, this is uh, still my favourite, the Kalau. So, I'm just going to pop that one there. So, I'm just going to stick these all on the back. Okay, so they're now all stuck down, okay, and then you've got your tab piece on the back there, your pulley with that little quarter of an inch piece. Alright, 
Then I'm going to grab my card base and I'm just going to make sure it's top folding and then I'm going to stick this one right in the middle there. So like I said, it is just a small little border but I just like that tiny little frame. I think it looks quite nice. Okay, then you want to get some foam tape. So this here, in terms of its thickness, because I use two layers of this, is the standard one really, although saying that I always buy the cheap one from the pound shop, so um, it is, again I would have thought it's in mil, it's about two mil thick. So I'm doing two layers of it. So basically you just want to run one, two, am I going to get another one out of that one? And then take the backing off. Go over it again. Yeah, I knew it would run out. <laughs> I might as well use it all up every bit. And then that one is the same roll anyway, so I can just sit that next to it, like so. See how much I can get off this one. Take the backing off of that one. Look, they've both run out. Look at that same point. And then this one. Well, I've got my money's worth there. I've got all of the pound. There we go. <laughs> Okay, and then you want to take the backing off of those again. Make sure that you're all happy with this because we're now going to stick it all down and that's it. So it um, comes together pretty quick. I mean, I've coloured my images if you're not colouring and you're just using die cuts and things like that. Overall, it's a pretty fast card. Once you've got that template set up, then it will take you no time at all. Let's just get that out of the way. Okay, so again, make sure I've got my card the right way up. This is all alright. It doesn't matter how, you know, what position this is all in right now because you can move it again in a minute. But you just want to make sure that you've got it lined up. So I think that's about right. I think I'm going to add something along here. I was thinking about it on the star one, but then I wasn't sure. And now, fingers crossed, yay, you got your triple wiper card. <laughs> it's just so much fun. I love it. I really, really do. I'm just a little bit annoyed with myself that I've just got that little marking there, but I will, um, I think I might do like I've done on that one there where I've put the ho, ho, ho. So I could always do that there, I guess, but I think those images are so cute. But I can definitely afford to put, I think I'm gonna put a nice die cut. I've got some, maybe some holly ones. I'm gonna cut that same navy blue, or I could do like a garland or something. You'll see that in the photos. I'll add that in later. It works fine. It's really, really good. I love it. I'll just bring it up a bit closer there so you can see. And these work perfect for so many occasions. You know, this is a good one for Valentine's. You could have I heart you, or you could have something, you know, Valentine's on the front and then inside it says I heart you. You could do, gosh and all sorts you know anyway I'm sure you will I can't wait to see what uh, designs you know you lot do over on um, the Facebook group so that is it from me there's the three that I've made I, I love them all I'm just I'm kind of think I'm, I'm drawn to the penguins purely because I don't know if I showed you but I use the snow the um, white it's just the white Nova, Nova white Nova Nova drops but when it was just about to dry, I went in there with my pokey tool and kind of like messed it up a little bit and it's got some texture. I just thought it gave a really nice effect. I do think those images are really cute. I did love those ones. But the cat one, I know who that's going to. These are just so cute, the um, clearly besotted stamps. They are really, really lovely and very easy to colour. So, no, I've really enjoyed it. So I hope um, it's inspired you. Please leave any comments in the comment boxes below. I'll link everything as always, and I will be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching, and remember, please subscribe. Bye.